If you are looking for a plug and play USB condenser microphone set, then stick around because I think you're going to like this video. First things first, I want to thank you guys for clicking on this video because I know there's tons of other videos out there on YouTube that you could be watching, so I appreciate you clicking on my video. With that being said, welcome to another episode of Dad's Den where my motto is work smarter, not harder. I do tech reviews just like what I'm doing today. I also do food reviews and I do fun reaction videos. So if you're into any of those three things, consider subscribing below. So today's review is going to be on this PseudoTac condenser microphone set. So let's jump into this. So just so you guys know what I'm currently using is the built-in microphone on this Sony A5100 camera. In a minute here, I'm going to switch over to this microphone so you guys can hear the audio from the PseudoTac microphone. But before I do that, I'm gonna read what comes in this box, okay? So you get the microphone stand, you get the shock mount, you get the table clamp, anti-wind foam cap, cable, and a pop filter. All right, so that is everything that you get in this box. So let's go ahead and um, get this set up. All right, so I am back and I am currently using the Pseudotac ST800 microphone. And what I wanna tell you guys right now is in the description, if you wanna know more about anything that I'm using, the microphones, the camera, the lighting equipment I have here, etc., etc., it's gonna be in, down in the description below so you guys can click that at any time and get some more information about that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump right into the performance of this microphone. I'm gonna give you some sound tests here. And obviously you guys are hearing it right now. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back away from the microphone a little bit. I'm gonna move it further away, etc. That way you guys can hear how it picks up the audio. Now remember this is a condenser mic. So you need to talk into the front where the pseudo tax sign is here. This is where it's picking up the volume from. So if you have this microphone turned like this, you're gonna hear a little bit of a difference there. I'm sure you guys are hearing that now, um, et cetera, et cetera. If you're on the side, it might sound a little bit different. If you're on this side, it might sound a little bit different as well. So make sure that the pseudo tax sign is facing you and that is where it is picking up all the volume from. Also, if you guys wanna know more about the specifications of this microphone, um, which I know some people do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in the description as well. Um, I don't like going over all the super fine details on that, um, but I know some people want it, so I'm gonna leave that in the description below for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to another USB microphone right now so you guys can see the difference between this and the other ones, and then that way you guys can tell me which ones you like better. And then after that, we're gonna get into design and features. All right, so I'm back here, and I have the CAD U37, and this is also a USB plug-in microphone, and it's the uh, gold microphone you're seeing right here in front of me. And I have done a review on this microphone, so if you're interested in this microphone, you can click the link in the description, or I'll leave it up in the card above. But let me know below which one you think sounds better. Is it the CAD, or is it the Pseudotac? Um, ST800 that you like so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to one more USB microphone and we'll listen to the audio on that and we'll be able to compare the three. Okay, so I know that this microphone is a lot different style than that microphone or the other one, but this is a USB plug and play microphone. Um, it is meant for, you know, singing or anything like that. Obviously, you don't want to sit here and do a whole podcast or something using this microphone. But anyhow, this is another USB plug and play microphone. So let me know which one you like sounds the best. And then actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more example because I have another studio microphone set from Mayano that I would like to compare these two with. So let's right, do that. So this is the last microphone that I'm gonna be comparing the PseudoTac to. This is a very, very similar build and setup. Almost identical, other than it's a different company and a different microphone. So this is the Mayano Studio Microphone Set. And like I said, it's nearly identical to the PseudoTac. But what I want you to do is I want you to listen to this audio, compare it to the PseudoTac audio, and tell me which one you like better which one picks up the volume better, which tone do you like better. So go ahead and leave that in the comments below now. And I have done a full review of this Mayano Studio mic. So if you wanna see that review, I'm gonna leave that up in the cards um, above or down in the description below as well. So check that out. All right, so I'm back. And again, I am using the Pseudotac ST800 right now. So what we're gonna do is now that you've heard the performance, we're gonna jump over to some of the design and features of this microphone um, to give you a little bit better feel of how easy this is to use. 
So this microphone literally took me less than five minutes to set up, probably even three minutes because it was so similar to my other microphone. But literally you take it out of the box, you set up the clamp and put the arm in. This piece right here pinches, you drop the microphone in, put over the uh, wind guard here. I'm not putting the pop filter on just because I don't need it. You're, you don't need both of this and the pop filter at the same time. You can you know, pick one or the other. And then you plug in the bottom and runs right to a USB port. It's as simple as that. What I do like about the clamp is when it clamps to the desk, it has a rubber piece there. So it's going to protect the top of your desk so it doesn't leave any marks on your desk, which is really nice. That way, if you need to relocate it or move it, adjust it how you like it, you're not going to leave any marks in your desk. The arm itself is very adjustable and easy to use. You just have a couple um, hinge spots here where you twist and tighten um, to adjust the microphone. So that's pretty easy as well. And the cord length on this is pretty darn long, so I don't think you're going to have any issues as far as reaching your computer or whatever else you're plugging into. So the Pseudotac plug and play microphone is currently selling on Amazon for $56.99. And as always, I'm going to give you some comparisons so that way you guys can see some prices. Um, there is a toner USB condenser mic that's the same, about the same kind of build and basically you get the same items in it and that is selling for $51.99. There is some other ones that are selling like the Blue Yeti USB blackout version is $97.50. Uh, another Blue Yeti Nano is $99 and a Blue Snowball Ice is for $48.98. The Mayano Studio microphone that I use in all of my videos um, and that I did the sound test with, that is currently selling on Amazon for $63.99. So that gives you a little bit idea of some comparison prices for you. And I always try to do that for you guys. That way you guys don't have to go out there and do that research. So. What I always like to do in my final thoughts is I like to tell you guys whether or not I think that this is a good value and a good purchase for the price. Now remember, I always do it by the value and the price. I don't just be like, oh yeah, this is the best microphone I've ever used or anything like that. What I like to do is I like to set my expectations for how much money I'm spending and then to see how it actually performs for that price. All right, and this is what I'm gonna say for this Pseudotac microphone. I would definitely recommend this. For $56.99, I bought my Mayano microphone that almost sounds to me ex exactly the same as this microphone does. And I bought that one for $63. So what are you looking at? So, you know, four, five, six, seven dollars more. So seven dollars more for the Mayano over this microphone. And literally it is identical as far as what you get with the microphone. Uh, the only difference is the Mayano does have a little bit longer cord than the Pseudotac. But other than that, it, that's really the only difference. So if you like the sound of the Pseudotac, as much as you like the sound of the Mayano or you like it better, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I would definitely say, hey, save yourself $7 and pick up yourself the Pseudotac microphone. So overall, I really like this microphone, especially for the price of $56.99. So um, I appreciate you guys watching this video and let me know in the comments below, which, which microphone would you pick from this group? Um, would it be the Pseudotac or would it be the Mayano? Would it be the CAD U37 or the little handheld microphone? And um, after that, then if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and tech reviews. Also, if you like um, my reaction videos or you like reaction videos to trailers, movies, movie scenes, etc., hit that subscribe button as well. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode of Dad's Den, and I hope you enjoy the video. And until next time, work smarter, not harder. We'll see you.